Hey guys, so I am as surprised as most of you uh, in terms of the reserve list. You know, I thought I had lost quite a bit of money, which I did. I will be the first one to admit it was weird to see the reserve list lose so much money so fast. So COVID-19, it didn't really boost magic. Not like Pokemon or MetaZoo, right? Where the prices shot through the roof. But it also never fell as hard as MetaZoo is falling today. And maybe that's the honest to God truth why the reserve list is the best. It's kind of like a S&P 500 of card games. Now, let me say this before I say anything. It's okay to have a set amount of money every month to spend on whatever you want. You can go to Las Vegas. You can gamble if that's what you feel like you want to do. We're all adults here. I understand that argument. But as an investment, i.e. you're investing, you're hoping this thing goes up because eventually you want to cash out. Magic the Gathering cards, even the reserve list, is a very poor investment. No one should be investing in these things. Okay, even me, I do this for fun. If I lost all my magic cards, I still got one point some ish million in my stocks and bonds. I still have half a million plus in my home, which I don't have a mortgage on. I still have some value in my car. So there you go, right? I still have some value in my business that I own 100% of. So invest in yourself, um, invest in your business that you own. If you own a business, if you don't own a business, start a business, right? YouTube pays me money to talk about alpha investment. I don't really know why, but it does. And I make good money. I make like, good money for me, which is treating my girlfriend to really nice meals all throughout the month. Uh, we're actually hanging out with her nephew for, what holiday is it? Oh, Chinese New Year. And it's nice to have that extra cash lying around should we want to do something fun with her nephew, who's 16 or 17. So he'll want to go to a Dave & Buster's, a main event. He'll want to go shopping. We have to get him a home ball, right? So we have to go to a bank uh, tomorrow to get him out a, little, a little cash, spending cash, right, for the holidays. It's nice we can do that. And we do that with the money from YouTube because in my eyes, it's just free money. I would honestly make these videos for free and I don't take any sponsors or anything like that right or promote anything to you people go, oh you're starting to sell us reserve no I would never sell you <coughs> one name one person online there's maybe one dude his name's Angela right but he lives in Houston he's a good friend of mine um that's ever bought a single card for me the answer is you cannot because they're all my friends and they don't watch YouTube like this is how it works I have a store Somebody takes a collection to the store. I take pictures of it. I send, you know, we work on the price, the buy list. And then I send it to a group chat. Uh, it's actually a WeChat. I don't know why the hell we're all on WeChat, but we are. I mean, I don't know. Again, WeChat, like, is kind of weird. But we're all on WeChat. And it's and, and then and then somebody says, yep, buy it, man. I'll pick it up in the store. And then they pay a little bit fee for so whatever um, they think they want to kick in, which is up to them to pay the store rent. In fact, one of our friends actually for two years provided the actual store without rent. So, I mean, that was pretty good, right? There was no overhead at that point in time. Uh, we don't have, I mean, we had we hired employees before, but it just never worked out. So now our model isn't that. So then, I mean, you, you go there, you authenticate the cards and make sure that you're not like buying fake cards for five figures that's basically the the idea of having a store and you just put it in the the vault the storage and then the next person comes in picks it up pays puts money in the storage and it's done or is that was the money over i don't sell reserve lists like you I, honestly there's no one online mine's angela uh who can tell them I, I ever sold them a reserve list card in the last five, five, six years. Maybe when I was a youngin, I used to not have money. Because, like, when you own a business, you have a lot of money. 
There's no need to sell any of these cards. You, you sell among friends because your friends are your friends. You know, my best friend I've had since we were second grade together. He even has a Wikipedia page about him. He had a Wikipedia page about him. I remember when he was like 17, we were in bio class. And I was like, whoa, is this you? <laughs> it's like, whoa, yeah. It, anyway. Do I know why the reserve list is going up? I don't know. I have no idea why. Um, but I do know the people who say that it's going up are very smart people. I know that much. And I know I'd much rather chart, trust Card Kingdom, which is a team of smart individuals with data points that I don't have access to, that no one has access to, which is their sales data, right? Their sales data is massive. I was buying for Card Kingdom. We were buying from Card Kingdom since uh, when we found it sophomore year in high school. That must have been 2003, right? We were buying boxes, and like, my friend would buy singles, and like it was just... Once we learned about, oh, you can buy cards online. I used to buy cards when I was like in middle school from like Yahoo auctions, but they were always like ninety nine cents and they were terrible cards. I just didn't realize it at the time. Um, guys, I don't sell my reserve list. Rudy doesn't sell his reserve list. He puts it on eBay for like astronomical amounts of money, which means he doesn't want to actually sell it to you, right? Of anything is price manipulation if some idiot thought it was actually a good price. Uh, what What's happening right now is really, really obvious to anyone with a brain. People are moving on it. And uh, smart people, the smart money is being dumped onto the reserve list right now. I It might be the economy is good, S&P 500 is good. Maybe this is like they're mitigating their risk, right? This might be a mitigation and, and people do view these as collectibles. They, they truly do. I can tell you, uh, we haven't, I have not been very happy about Carvel Man or all this stuff. And, and my friends, uh, we still have a distribution contract throughout the year. And we're probably not going to buy it. I bought too much shit already from them. And I don't want to buy no more. Um, but I do want to get this. If somebody came in the store today... And said, hey, you know, I want 140 for survival and fittest. And it's a good condition. Again, condition does matter. A lot of people really overestimate their condition. I think they know. I think they know. Yes, yeah, not buy. It's not, there's no doubt. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, right, for that amount of money. It's not. Now, if it's a gin, I probably send a picture out to my friends with the conditioning and you know, as long as one of them gives the thumbs up, we go ahead and buy it. Un uh, oh, uh, Alpha, demonic. We don't really do Alpha. Um, like I said, I was we had the discussion before. I can't make the difference between Alpha and uh, crimped or the cut beta. Anyway, bye guys.